Hello, and uh, welcome to a new series I plan on doing. Learning to play with uh, the caboose. Because I like the. They call me the caboose because I push everything up like a train. No, not really. Just hold on, hold on. A friend of me asked if I could go over some basic fundamentals of Civ 5. This is Civ 5, Civ 5, um, came out in 2010, I've been playing this recently. Some of these aspects might not, um, work for Civ 4. Shit, come on. So what Civ 5 is, is a, uh, strategy game like chess. It's kind of like the opposite of StarCraft. StarCraft is real fast paced. You have to worry about like minerals and all that stuff. Worry about getting rushed and all that stuff. Civ 5 is worrying about building an empire and taking turns. Let's see. So f there's no campaign to this game. That's what's what's fundamental about the Civ, uh, Civ games is that there is no the single player, which pretty much most people play. Everybody plays, pretty much. Multiple player, you can play with internet, hot seat, and all that stuff. Civ 4, you can actually do by email, which was kind of cool. And a new thing in Civ 5, they, added, they brought back, uh, they brought uh, a mod deployment. So you can browse mods and all that stuff. So look, uh, online, wait, installed. Oh yeah, these are DLC, don't look at me. Don't look at me, don't judge me. So, uh, yeah, so you add a bunch of shit to the game. Uh, oh, wow, what's this? One of the last surviving ones in this KF. Oh, wow. This is cool. Okay, effects. Okay, plus 24 East Lane, you can see in train in that city. Land units. Oh, wow. This is cool. I don't have to download that. You're about to download a user train. Okay. I've never done this before, so you just, I guess, click it. Downloading. And, um, got an achievement. Connecting. So there's all sorts of stuff. You can get uh, other shit. Oh wow. Civilizations, wonders, buildings, graphics. Kind of like what... Oh god. Burping a little bit. Kind of like um, the Skyrim stuff. Oh here we go. It's downloading. And complete. And... Close. Close. I think you download. Install mods. And there it is. Cool. Enable. Oh, okay. Wait. Conquest of the new world. Okay. Okay. Let's disable those. Okay, now let's get to the single player experience. So when you go to the single player, you got play now, which is like, you know, we'll do this, play as random continents, all that. You can uh, load up a scenario. So there's different scenarios throughout the, uh, throughout the game. You can also download scenarios. Uh, you can load game here, get some other games. Use your tutorial. Um, I never played this tutorial, but I like what I'd like to do. Turn off this music a little bit. Where's the speech? Ambience? Music. There's no master. Okay. There we go. Set up game. I like see there's tons of guys. A lot of these don't make sense. Like uh, uh city states, your influence, they're a little pieces of shit that you don't want to go. So Alexander the Alexander, not a good thing to do. Um Augustus is pretty cool. 
I usually go with Catherine. Uh, tr strategic bo resources provide extra production. Horses are, uh, horses are iron uh, uranium. Resources provide double quality. That's really good for late game. You can build nukes and death robots. More death robots. Um, Elizabeth of England is real good for uh, for ocean battles. I don't understand Gandhi. So unhappiness from number of cities doubled. Unhappiness from the number of cities halved. No number of citi citizens. I don't know. Uh, Genghis Khan is pretty good, I guess. This one's also good. Oh, pretty in like mid late game. You get extra gold. I want that's pretty good and early. Uh, personally, I like Kamehameha and using uh, um, using the archipelago map. Just tons of I can just like roll over the fucking planet easily. Napoleon's pretty bad. Uh, plus two culture per turn. I I don't understand why they would do that. Um, Japan, Oda Nobuya. Sorry if I butchered that. That one's cool, uh, especially real late game. You don't fight at 100% even if damage. You get an achievement if you kill... Hold on. Some weirdo calling. And there's also different units like the Zero for the Japanese. The Incas are pretty cool because they get this terrace farm. You can build their... Uh, no... It's like you could build... um. Uh, farms on hills and stuff. Let's see. Uh, Koreans are pretty good if you want to beef up your science. Washington's pretty cool. I think that's it. Wu Zinsu. I think this is the chick that built the uh, stone ship in China during the uh, early parts of the 19th century. 20th century, yeah? Yeah, 20. 1900s. Yeah, okay. So who are we going to go with? Let's go with... Uh, Shit, who do I want to go with? Damn it. Oh. Um, actually, let's go with Koreans. Uh, then we do do into the advanced setup. Um, so there's different different maps here. You got four corners. This is a real like, uh, big game hunters type of uh game. Let's see, what am I? Let's do. Mesopotamia, uh, continents? No, Earth. No, Earth is really cool. Pangaea. No, shit. Um, I just want the Great Plains. Is this? Yeah, here we go. No, shit. Okay, let's do that. Chieftain. I like to do. Settler, there's a, there's a lot of difficulty in here. I do uh, Prince versus Normal. We do uh, start off in the era. That's the ancient era. That's where you learn everything. Or you can start in the future era. I don't know why you would start in between. That's just boring. Um, world Age. I don't understand this. I just hit use random. Um, in the north and south of the uh, the top and the bottom of each map, there's a cold zone. I just like put hot because it pretty much just waste tiles. Rain is a lot, so you get forest for productions, then resources. Let's do strategic balance. Time is not based off is based off max turns. I like to turn that off. Uh, science is is you you building a spaceship. Washington with the Americans, I tend I they their AI is really advanced. They push for that. Uh, domination is I think. Controlling X amount of the uh, landmass, cultural. I'll get into that. And diplomatic is in game. Somebody you build a uh, one nation builds a UN, and you vote. Stupid. So let's. What I don't like is barbarians. Uh, they just really stupid early game. New random sea. Yeah, let's do that. Um, a lot of the stuff I don't use, like quick combat. Because uh, the the animations are pretty cool. Um, let's see. Okay. City-states. Um, zero. 
No, we'll do 12. We'll do 12. Yeah, we'll show you. We'll do that. I think we're ready to go. Start. And then, uh... Greetings to you, exalted King Sejong the Great, servant to the people and protector of the Choson dynasty. Your glorious vision of prosperity and overwhelming benevolence towards the common man made you the most beloved of all right Korean kings. From the earliest days of your reign, the efforts you took to provide a fair and just society... I think this is the guy, the, um, the same guy that developed the Korean language is the easiest language to learn. So you start off with a uh, warrior and a settler in the ancient era. You want to send him out to explore? Okay. And then this, usually where they spot you is just like, yeah, this is good. Okay, production, you want to go worker, choose research. Let's see, that's incense. I need calendar. Wait, no, let's, let's get mining so I can get the quarry. So we just wait. Boop, 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 ba -doo, boop. Yeah, so the little so the runes are like uh, crates for like command and conquer. Here's another city state right here. And I'm just pressing enter. Oh, you see the when you first start up the game. The meek shot. Awesome. That was awesome. Uh, you start off with that in Civ Five, and before that, it used to be triangles. No, uh, squares. Uh, Civ 3 was isometric. And Civ 2 and 1 are like flat. Uh, in 5, it's hexes. Which I personally, I like it a lot. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Oh my god, I got booger problems. So it's just a lot of waiting. Oh, sweet. So right now I'm going to uh, bring up, it's going to bring up the, uh, you may adopt a policy. This is where you win by culture. See up in the top, you got science, gold, happiness. The more, ha every five, you gain five per turn and it goes into a golden age, which, you know, triggers more gold and more production. So shit builds faster. And then culture, which is uh, based on buildings and, and shit you have in your um, in your empire. So as you progress through your um, culture, you get this big, huge list. At first, it comes like this. Make sure to click on an advanced view. Um, as you can see, these are all... They're, like, kind of linked. So what I like to do... Um, Honor's pretty good for... Uh, for if you want to go military route. Oh, God. Hold on. Yeah, man. Ooh, I'm freaking out here. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can go through this. Um, so some things are locked. So these are like really locked ones. And then rationalism, purity. Oh, God. Pi IED. The Chinese thing. Anyways, uh, these are locked together so you can choose one or you can't choose them all of these and same with this this is based on you want full culture more cultural or more science I notice if you go rational rationalism piety piety uh, rationalism you're gonna get more happiness like uh, for every school uh, uh, university observation uh, observatory in public school you get happiness plus happiness and then your um, Trading Post does more, and you get two free technologies, which is real nice, especially in the real early game. And then this is culture. I don't know. This, it should bring happiness, but it doesn't bring that much happiness. So first you unlock it. Let's see. Um, rapid expansion. Yeah. Got a free great person of your choice near the... There we go. You want that? Okay. Close. Next turn. Now we have met our first city-state. City-states are like... 
little individual nations. Think of um, the Vatican is a city state. I think it's the only city state left. But it's a city, their own governing entity. And they, uh, right now, Okay. Well, I never really looked at this. So, so th it's like a uh, faction in a, like, uh, wow. You want to build up faction with them. And so they give you shit. They also, once you're friendly with them, they, they, you add, uh, dies. But personally, I like to fucking remove them. Oh, shit. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. User interface here. I like to uh, have this show player score unit so you can see how you're doing. Sometimes it's wrong. Several times, fuck it, I've played and like Washington out of nowhere just wins the game even though he's like second place. Okay. Hello? Hello? Welcome. Elizabeth? We are pleased to meet you. Yeah. That's nice. Goodbye. So you can declare war right off the bat. You you could trade. Just say goodbye. How you doing? The gym's cool. This, this is good. City states don't expand, which is real nice. John the Clay. Okay, discovered quarry. Damn it. Oh no, I need a plantation. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Here we go. Plantation. Explored some silk. Oh, cool! It upgraded them. Yes. Ah, the only a new father. Harald Blotan byder dig velkommen til sit land. Hello. Goodbye. I've met the uh, Harold Blue Bluetooth <laughs> Blautooth Bla it was Blautooth I think it was pronounced. Okay, now we got a worker. It only took 16 turns. Um, let's see. Gold. Bye. Let's get a scout. You can also add production to so you. You just click on the little the end of their screen. City management. Sitting at the default is pretty fine. Uh, so do uh, show Q. Uh, got a scout. Let's do another worker. Monument and the granary for food. You can also purchase shit. Let's purchase that. Do that. Return. Next. So we're gonna build a. Um... Okay, cool. We're gonna build a gold, a mine right here. Get them gold. Floor. So gold is a happiness thing. So once we got that, we'll. Sh it's a luxury item. There's luxury items, and then there's, uh, strategic items. Another thing added in, um, has increased happiness to the empire output if worked. Okay. Another thing added is natural wonders. So this is the Great Barrier Reef. If we have control over this, we get the benefit. But since we found it, we got extra happiness. See, two from Discovery Discovery of Natural Wonders. Uh, come on. And I do have this on quick. So roll. Let's see here. So Oh cool. Yes. Let's send you oh another gold thing. It's actually gems. Gems are nice. In Civ 5, 
you wanted to uh, so. construct. You want to construct roads to um, to resources like this. So it's just you get a fucking messed up game of just roads crisscrossing the fucking universe. In this, you need uh, you don't need that anymore. It auto does that for you. Um, what you do need is roads connecting cities. So I'm gonna get incense. It's gonna provide gold. Hell, Microsoft Flight Launch. Okay. Go <sighs> with that. I like to smile. You need orders. Put there. I want to get gems. Gems are really nice. As you progress through the game, um, cities, different cities, are gonna require different things. So like, you know, Soul's gonna like, oh yeah, I need gems. If you give me gems, if if we get gems. We're going to throw a party in your honor, and then happiness is going to go up to the roof. Um, same with incense, same with uh, pearls, all sorts of luxury items. Thou shalt. Hey, what's up? Thailand. Build production. Borders. Oh, writing. So I can get into classicals. I want you to be a worker? Yeah, worker. Next. Next. Really in this. Okay, well, we're sorry. We'll, we'll settle what lands we please. Apologies. So if you build, start building too close to the lands, there's tension that builds up. And that shit, people don't like that shit. So, okay. So let's build a little um, road between these two. Uh, you could have them auto build. If you're really new but not knowing what's to do, that's always best. Um, but I do recommend that you uh, turn these on. Automatic workers don't replace improvements. Automatic workers do not remove features. So they don't just constantly rewrite their shit. So what? Oh shit! I can't make roads. So we'll just put that guy over there. Be careful, Genghis. Oh shit! What's Genghis? Thank you, Genghis. Oh. Some gold. Oh wow! They give me gold. That's cool. Let's see, build a farm. Building a farm gives food, yields food. More food means bigger population. Bigger population means faster production and more great people. Great people can speed up uh, wonders, uh, free researches. Ooh, Grand Mesa. Way over there. Cool. Oh, he's not happy with me. I don't. Why are you not happy with me? Fuck you. Rio. Her name is Rio and she... This is the reason why I don't like cityscape, city states. Is that look at all this land that I have to constantly keep up, keep, keep with them. Instead of just having my own little cities there, I have to friend with them or attack them. And if I attack them, I'm gonna piss off more people. It's just uh? I don't know. I don't like them. Um, getting free gold though. He who destroyed. And now, wait. Okay. Let's do archery. Go up the farm. Yeah, sure. Our 
production. One thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Roads, there we go. One thing I recommend if you're a really late game is um, single player auto interns. That can get real nice, really late game. I guess real early game too. Fuck you, Genghis. No, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, we got that. That expanded. Improvement construction rate increased by some Okay, cool. Cool. Use that guy. Orders there. What I tend to do is you want to do farms next to um. Okay. See farm. I like to put lumber mills in the forest. Um, in Civ 4, you had to worry about environmentalism and uh, worry about like cutting down trees. In this, you really don't matter. It really doesn't matter. Maybe in the expansion back there, we'll do that. Okay, demand pearls. Z. Soul demands pearls. Pearls. There's some pearl pads right here, and if I get that, they're gonna be all happy. Okay, right there. Here's a research. There we go. I don't turn. There we go. Rock of Gibraltar. So you can build a road right here or uh, root it. So it's going to automatically build a road from here to here. Then once that's happening, you have a notification saying that. Um, let's build a great library. Can I build anything here? Go over there, I guess. Hello. So what do you yeah. So there's once you get really nice to people, you can build declarations of friendship. You know, like, yo, bro, we're cool. And then if other people are cool with this guy, they're gonna like, yo, bro, I know you're cool with Thailand. I'm cool with that. I think we're cool. He who commands the sea. He who commands the sea. Um. Oh, here we go. Quarry. The threat to the spaily of this world. You know what? Let's fucking go to war. I've never actually declared war this early. So, uh, Mongolians. Those are Mongolians. Uh, yeah, I can do it. Okay, actually, let's purchase. Um, so you got range units that can fire at range. Here, chariot, let's buy a chariot. And shit, I need technology. Okay. So I could fire. So. Go put this guy over there. Um, bring that guy over there. Next turn. Okay, let's build him. Like that. And then. That chariot over there. This is, this is who I'm attacking, yeah? Yeah, I'm at war with these guys. Uh, 
production to uh, another chariot. And a chariot would require uh, horses, which are a strategic um, unit. A little farm there. I have you range attack those guys. Because I'm a hill, I have a little bit better defense. Just research. Since we're at war, we're going to have to go with those. Oh, Copenhagen. That's what it's called. I might have to back out of this. Um, they're over there. Yeah, I'm going to have to back out. We could also go into this uh, strategic view. You can see what's going on. See, see these workers just quit working. I don't know, maybe because there's action around. <gasps> oh shit, man! This guy promoted. Let's rough terrain and let's put him back here. Oh god, that guy's dead. Why didn't you go this way? Oh, sending messages, okay. What? Seriously, dude, why aren't you finishing that? So long, Archer. Okay. Genghis. Some Genghis Khan units, and it's been killed. Public declaration from Solomon. What's this guy saying? Oh, okay. That's done. <sighs> well, this early stuff can take a long time. Mm. Go over there. Um, I guess over there. Purchase. So that to so this road is connected. These routes are connected. I gain extra money and I think I get some happiness? No, I don't. Okay. That's nice of bro. It gets really spammy when you with all these uh, guys up. So let's build a farm. And yeah. Doing something wrong here. Really doing something wrong here, man. I think. Oh my god, I'm not advancing like I would should like to. Base bar. Now I'm in he the who knows square. Holy shit! It's not looking good for me, man. Usually I go peaceful. Um, can't do anything with you, bro. Can't do anything. Got tons of workers that can't do anything. Garrison you in. You garrison a unit at, um, with certain diplomacy. Honor. Um, or order. You, you can, like, get better defense and... Oh, wait, no, it was order. Honor. Um, yeah, each, um, each city with a garrison unit and a garrison empire. Uh, happiness by one and culture by two. So there's some benefit for that. It's really good mid-game. All right, bro, I gotta... Let me just sit there. Sit there. Build a farm. Wait, I can build something here, yeah. Tree production. Do a monument. Shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally sorry. You know what? I'm gonna give you some gold. I don't I don't want this to come between us. Oui.
He got made with peace with him. He can't invade me. I can't invade him for 10 turns. Usually I like to start off, I like to do military action very late game. City state message. Okay, that's nice, bro. Been fiend out in. Sure. Sit in simple take of Open borders. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same. Um. Let's see here. See, see. Okay, the gold represents economics. Purple means cultural. Blue means science. So this will improve your science. Uh, these things will improve your science. And then uh, red shield, of course, means military action. So this allows embark for the Hawaiians, uh, the Polynesians. Uh, you, you you get embark right away. Let's see here. Good. Let's do with this one. No, no. Let's do with this one. It needs orders. Yeah, just make that. You know what? I'm gonna bring the chariot back to Seoul. There we go. That should increase our production. Krakatoa? You fucking kidding me? Where the hell did I get Krakatoa? Let's see here. Plus one happiness for your own. For your own. We'll increase the culture out. Normal. Yeah, that looks good. I can use some more happiness. So what do you? Harry requests units? Fuck you. Oh god, I am really screwing up this round. The Great Library. One free technology. Sweet. You made it. Okay, that's nice, bro. Choose a free technology. The compass. Which, there we I go. Oh yeah. Emperor just subject to no one but God and justice. Right into the medieval era. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's purchase. No. We want a settler. Stable, circus, good, barracks, wall, I don't like to do until later on when I know I'm being invaded, because it, it, it really doesn't help much. Let's just add Stonehenge, or the pyramids. Go right there. You build a... Research agreements, there we go. Where can I put you? Can you do furs? Some people I've talked to that play this game, they make cities directly for production, for food and all that stuff. I like to do general. Make sure everything's you know, every every city's pretty equally balanced. Can't make a farm. There oh. is only Jeez. one good. Choose production. Greenery for food, temple. Um, can I build anything? Yeah, I see you get um, plus four for every um, luxury item. Since I'm giving some shit to uh, Denmark, because they, they I kind of declare war on them without really doing much. Um, 
we go. Increase production. Cool. Most literate. Oh my god, that's getting real fucking annoying. Wait, wait, wait. Is this me? No. I'm at peace with everybody. Everybody's friendly with me except for England, who's neutral. And then I can see the city states. Militaristic, cultural. Can't man do. That's really, really where I want to go. Okay, where should I take you? Take me home tonight. Maybe I can get on the coast. Put you right there. Um, that I don't know what to do with you, bro. Oh, because I have my scout there. If I didn't have my scout here, it wouldn't do this. going down in fucking that region of the world. Just put you to sleep, I guess. Sleep. No, I want to put a work boat. Let's go pick a couple turns. Then let's do lighthouse harbor. I don't. You don't need a harbor. It. Next one, trip by land. Okay, let's do monument. Going on 42 minutes. I think this is everything. Oh shit, now I don't have much happiness. Luxury resources. Pearl should be nice help. That's nice. That's nice, dude. You can also purchase tiles too, so. Purchase that. That. Put you right there. Oh god. Okay, thanks. That a lot of action going on. And wealth production by buy a tile. Get bananas, which is also a nice luxury. Let's do <laughs> Wait, what? Um, so this could happen, I guess. Yeah. Oh, God. Not looking good. So, uh, let's do that. Is there any mountains here? We'll send you that guy. A range attack. So, any range attack. So, you got archers, chariots. Um, not tanks, but artillery, um, they can do range attacks. That's nice. Oh god, it's not looking good for me. There. Still building that. Yeah. Fuck. Why aren't you finishing these shits? Fuck 
fucking dumbasses. Oh god. I really stared up a fucking shitstorm by fucking trying to attack fucking Denmark. Attack that guy. Maybe we can kill out that guy. No, I want to garrison him in. To get better defense. Yes, that's nice. I'm having a little war over here, bitch. Why don't you build another fucking piece of shit? So th those guys are embarked. Looks like I can hold these guys off. Do not wait to strike till the iron is made. Okay. I don't know why my mouse is weird. This will be it. Let's see. Really want to see how this goes from me. Um. You stay there. Oh God. Is it not taken? So if an infantry, if one of their military units goes into the square, I lose my uh, um. My workers, but it looks like everything's good. I don't know what you're doing, bro. What is that? Oh, iron. Tile. Ooh, iron could help me a lot. Just keep on planning, bro. Just keep on mining. And that's what happens. lose this fucking city. Fucking pissed off the wrong people. Okay, let's attack you. You attack them. Now, most units, once you, they do less damage as you get hit. Which is kind of cool. Unless you're Japanese, where you do full damage. So just... Just keep working, soldier. Just keep working. Look at this, yeah. Uh, you can pillage too with your units. Lost it. Fuck. Oh god. Well, that was fun. This is a I hope this is helpful for your, anybody watching this. This is helpful for, for a brief introduction. You could also look at my military uh, video I've posted uh, a couple days ago about military action and late game. But it pretty much, you know, kind of a rock, paper, scissors type of shit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.